Hey guys, Laura with Garden Answer. Today I'm going to plant up another shade pot. I actually just got done taking borage out of this pot and planting it in my landscape. I put borage, three borage plants in here um, early spring and they were huge and beautiful, but they were kind of tired and done. So out they go and now I have an empty pot and that will not do. So I brought home a kind of a menagerie of plants that will do well in the shade. Um, so we'll see what ends up in this pot. I just thought you guys might like to see it. Now for summer pots, um, if you've watched any of our past videos on any of the planters I've done, I really jam plants in there, but I think that's because I've only really done videos on fall and uh, spring planters. And in those planters, you can get away with a lot more um, in your pot because you're not expecting tons of growth. But in the summertime during the growing season, I do leave a little bit of extra room so the plants have space. And another thing about this pot, it's going to actually be backed up against a wall. So I'm gonna create my centerpiece toward the back. I actually don't have a whole lot of containers where I plant the tall piece right in the center, which really looks good if you want it to be really pretty from all the way around. Um, but I'm going to put the centerpiece kind of in the back of this pot and then kind of work forward. Uh, so I knew I wanted to start with this henna coleus gorgeous gorgeous plant um, and it, these get quite tall so unless you trim them which you can keep them down as well but they love shade they do really well as a centerpiece or as an accent plant so i'm going to start with that one whenever i use a plant that has red or pink in the leaves i always tend to be drawn to blue um, so i chose this hosta it's called a fragrant cloud hosta beautiful icy blue color and I love the bold texture. So you've got kind of on this henna coleus, it's got kind of a feathery edge. So I didn't want anything that was really um, not smooth. So this will provide that smooth, bold texture and the blue color that complements the red. I called it a fragrant cloud, I think just a second ago. Fragrant cloud hosta, it's not. It's a fragrant blue hosta, so whoops. I also like to loosen the roots on most everything that I'm planting. So I just gently with my fingers loosen the roots up a bit, just like that. Next is a white and patient. And I love these plants for the shade. They do really well, they provide lots of color. And I am totally into white this year. So I've been using a lot of white colored blooms. I brought this uh, Japanese forest grass. It's Hakana Kaloa. It's one of my favorite shade grasses. I just love it. I brought it to maybe use in the pot, but I really don't think that I've got space uh, for it. And I really don't know if I'm loving the texture with everything else. So I think I'm just gonna keep this one really clean and really simple. I brought some Browalia. I think, that, I think that's how you say it. Browalia. Endless Illumination is the variety name on this one, but it's got this gorgeous little purple flower and it has a trailing habit. So I think it'll be pretty just to stick one right in the front and then maybe one toward the back on either side so it can kind of fill in and come forward. I actually set my gloves down on the table because I totally planned on using them for this, but oh well. I also brought this really gorgeous petunia home, which I think I'll use somewhere else. I've got something in mind. Um, it's Petunia Cascadia's Autumn Mystery, and it's a new one to me. It might be a new intro this year, I'm not sure. Um, I've never seen it before, but it's just really pretty. It kind of has a, a brown color in with the purple, kind of an antique shade. I really, really like it, but I don't think I've got space in this planter, um, so I'll use it somewhere else. So I will be fertilizing this pot with Authentic Haven brand Mupu Tea. I've really been liking this this spring, um, so I've got some hanging out actually uh, right now in my watering can brewing. So I'll fertilize this planter about once a week throughout the summer, and I'll probably water it two to three times a week. It's gonna be in the shade, so it won't need quite as much water. Um, even though it gets really hot here, it's supposed to be like 110 this weekend here, which is way too hot. I like warm weather, but that's way too hot. Um, 
I might have to up my watering just a little bit, but usually shade planters, especially with this deep of a soil reservoir, will hold a lot longer. I hope you enjoyed seeing this. I thought that it might just inspire you to go fill up the rest of your containers. I know it's a little bit late, but nurseries still have beautiful stock. If not, maybe you can lock it away uh, as an idea for next season. So if you liked it, hit the thumbs up down below and be sure to subscribe to our channel. See you in the next one, bye.